Hello guys, welcome to the sauce. We have Etana, reggae superstar from Jamaica. She has just released a new album and we're going to talk all about it. So Etana, welcome to the sauce. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Let's start off uh, with the album Pamoja. Talk to us about uh, the making of the album, the inspirations, and how did it all come together? I mean, I've, I'm always recording and always working on new music. Yeah. And I did intend on releasing an album in this year. So I started mm-hmm. working on the album from last year, um, late last year, a little bit after releasing the album Gemini. But I linked up with um, different uh, you know, musicians and producers to get tr- the tracks that I would like to have and started doing all the writing and stuff. And then after that, then I linked up with the artists from um, Kenya and Ghana and everywhere yeah. else that I did and sent them the yeah. pre-produced songs so that they could rep- record their part and then send it to me and then I would finish up you know if there was any additional recording for me to do then yeah. I would send it out to get it mixed and mastered and recheck and mastered again and mastered again until I was satisfied um, mm. and I chose to call it Pomoja yeah because I think it's time for us to get together. It's been a while that we've been um, separated for like a year and a half. Stay away from, from the elderly, stay away from this, stay six feet yes, apart. Yes. But in addition to I think there is much um, power in unity. And I think that more than just COVID and all the other reasons that we um, are so separated, we also are separated by imaginary lines. And yeah. so, you know, it'd be a, it would be a great thing for us all to be united no matter where we're from. That must have been crazy to do all these things in the middle of a pandemic. Um, talk to us about uh, uh, Baby O, uh, the song with Vibes Cartel. How was it working with him while he's behind bars? My, I wasn't the one who made the direct contact with his team, but mm-hmm. my team contacted his management team and um, they uh, sent the, the track over to the management team because as that said, all the songs were like pre-recorded and then his um, engineer and management team put it together and send it back, you know? Um, as far as other inner workings, I have no idea. I just know that I get the track back. Yeah, and then getting it to us and we love it. You, you didn't disappoint when it came to your choices for the collaborations that you have from Africa and most especially Kenya, uh, how -hmm. did you pick this amazing artist to work with you? I went through a list. I collected a list of of artists that was in Kenya. Um, Some of them rap, some sing, some um, what we would call sing J in Jamaica. I had to pick based on the songs that were pre-recorded, you know, who I thought would be perfect for those tracks. And so um, that's why I chose Nye Boy because of his tone yeah. um, and style. And Wiry, same, his tone and style. I thought that it would just be perfect for the songs that I chose. And same with Michael Bundy. I figured that he's as talented and it's possible for him to jump on any track. So um, I chose Pomoja for Michael Bundy because it's just fitting and he's He's, he, he, I felt that he could handle it. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about one of my favorites, which is the Malaika rendition from Fadili Williams. It's it's a beloved song here in Kenya. Uh, it's an old school song. We love it. And you did it justice. You you sang it so you. Healy, you gave it your own reggae vibe. And how, how, how did you do all this? Did you... Did you take time to learn Swahili? I did take some time. I did take some time to learn the song, um, at least maybe two weeks or so. I, you know, practiced over and over and over and I recorded it. Then I went home and I listened. And then I went back into the studio and recorded it again to ensure that it was exactly what I needed to have on the record. Describe your album Pamoja in three words. United with strong. That sounds like uh, a a slogan for a political party. (laughs) Well, it's a slogan for the people, you know. 
So tell me what are your hopes and dreams for this album? What are you expecting? That it will it? travel. Do we see it, another it Grammy travel. nomination coming? <laughs> or well, I'm glad that you do. I'm glad that you do. And I, and I, and I hear that a lot. But we know how um, the organization works. And we know how um, it, it, that it depends on the people in music like our peers who vote for us and and support us in music and we support each other so it depends on how they feel about it too as well um but the fact is the still the the, the people already gave the album their blessing and that's the most important thing when the fans love the music when the fans support the music that's what's important to me all the time every single day so my wish for the album is that it will go as far as it needs to go and travel with the wind and you know and that people all over the world will um hear the message understand the message appreciate the message in the music and and enjoy the energy as well you know and dance and sing and rock and that they'll yeah. you know feel the positive vibration that was intended in the album in the first place you're very humble very humble <laughs> um, about uh, the impact of being nominated for a Grammy and you, you know, breaking the record of being the first woman to get nominated after so many years, uh, you know, for this award. I think it's something that is in history. And I think that it, it, it and I'm grateful for it because it's something that cannot be erased. It cannot be removed. Mm -hmm. Um and it's great to know that my peers and my people thought of me enough to give me such an honor. Mm -hmm. um, because as you know, it took more than, it's almost two decades that a woman was nominated. And for them to give me that honor, it's, it's incredible. And I'm grateful for it all, you know. Um, the impact that it has made, um, I think I will know. I saw strides, like I saw, different doors opening, I uh, saw different things happening before yeah. COVID and then came COVID yeah. and then, you know, yeah. and I think that it will only continue. Only, only up from here. Yeah. Okay. Especially for women in music. <laughs> Definitely. We, we, we are here yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, you, you're known to make beautiful love songs. Uh, does your own marriage uh, play a part in the inspirations? or how you make your music and all of my love life plays a role in in love songs everything that i've experienced over time you know i think that's what gives me the melody the lyrics the words to say it's my own experiences or maybe somebody else's experience maybe i didn't go through it per se but maybe i know someone who did you know um so in all it's my experiences that gives me the inspiration to write love songs can we expect a uh, collab with you and DJ Spice? Um, Would I don't know. <laughs> Would love to see that. I don't you know. guys have come from far. You, yeah. you sang backup for him, and you coming of age in the industry, and then you guys working together would be something marvelous and something that people would look forward to. You put it out in the universe, so it might be possible. <laughs> Definitely will Yay. be possible. I'll, I'll pray about it tonight. <laughs> Okay. Um, talk to us about what you love most about the motherland, because you've you've taken a lot of inspiration from Africa and Kenya, and Ghana was the first place you first performed as a solo artist. Well, knowing that my ancestors came from there, you know, um, and that even though I don't speak a language per se from Africa, I appreciate it most because I know that's where my ancestors are from. That's where I feel like I'm from. Um, and I shouldn't say feel like, that's where I know I'm from because my ancestors are from there. And um, a lot of, of the culture as I know it, like my own culture, how we eat, how we dance, how we laugh, how we make jokes, how we communicate. When I come to any, when I go to any part in Africa, it's the same. I realize that we, he may have been transported or we may have left Africa and traveled to other countries. But mm -hmm. in the end, um, what we have in us is something that cannot be wiped away. We are who we are and we are connected 
because like i said we eat the same way dance the same way joke the yeah. same way we yeah. speak in a different language but if you put us all together you'll realize how much of us is the same yeah and and <laughs> kenyans and jamaicans have a wonderful connection it's like the same it's we 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 are the same people <laughs> do you do you feel the same do people from well, jamaica I feel the same about us i feel the same even on social media when i see them talking and and laughing and making jokes about certain things i'm like Yo, these people behave just like how we behave. Yeah. Like we laugh and joke about even some serious things. And you'd be like, "Yo, why are you joking about this right now?" You know, but yeah. that's who we are. We love to laugh. We love joy. We love peace. We love music. We love food. We love each other. They call you the strong one. Uh what do you do in the moments where you f- don't feel so strong? I read, I meditate, I pray. I hang with my family, um, my relatives. I I do everything that makes me feel good. I I do a journal, I write songs, I go to the river. I go within when I feel down. I go within and I pull mm. the energy up that I need to continue. When will you be back to <laughs> Kenya? If they didn't have the restrictions that they have now, but mm-hmm. because think about it, if I say I'm going to show up and I'm going to do an album launch for example yeah how yeah. would the people fit in a small club or you know like i would have to do an outdoor venue and is that allowed now i don't know um but i don't know exactly the date as yet because we are still working okay. on it and there is talks but mm-hmm. we want to make sure that we are abiding by the rules and the guidelines of Kenya as well thank you so much Itana for your time we're definitely looking forward to more music from you and uh, to a show 